Hi everyone, this video is part of React TypeScript with Formix errors. If you haven't watched the previous video, please do, because on the previous part, we install all the components we need to make the form that we will build in this video. I give the playlist link in the video description. Let's move on. Let's create our form with normal HTML, nothing fancy. We know the result will be ugly, but still, this is the first step. Let's open our app.tsx. Hide this. For date picker, don't forget to import date picker. Import date picker from React Date Picker. And also, we need the initial CSS for Date Picker. Let's import it. Import React Date Picker distribution React Date Picker dot CSS. Done. Now let's remove this and create our form we'll make it so simple form input type oh yeah we will make a simple form only with name username email date of birth and password and of course submit button so input type text name name Let's give it placeholder. Type your name here. Just like that. Oh, to make it more clear, let's give it label name. Label username. Input type text name username placeholder type your username here label uh, label email input type equals email name email placeholder I need your email label Date of birth. Using date picker, mm, okay. Name. We give it dob from date of birth. Placeholder text. This is where you set your date of birth. Just like that. Okay. It needs on chains. So give our on chains see we can see the type for now just do it like this to make it simple. Next one is the password. Rebel password input type password name password placeholder give me your password and last is submit button we are using button type submit give me your info and like this video is smooth right Done. Let's see the result. Let's zoom in. Now, all of our fields are ready, but it looks ugly, like we expected, right? Now, let's style the form. I'll fast forward in this part because the styling is up to you. But I also will give the style script on the video description so you can use it if you want.
Okay, we are done styling here. It looks nice, right? If not, please just agree with me, okay? If you enjoy it, please consider to like and subscribe. In the next video, we will start setting up Formic for React TypeScript usage. You'll know what's the difference between Formic that you use on JavaScript and TypeScript. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.